I was super inspired to come on and share this with you this morning. These are usually my best nuggets is when I feel like I have to create a video because I'm doing something that I think is so cool and useful and helpful. Okay, so let me tell you how, I, how what I'm doing here. I'm creating a blog post and I'm creating pins that I'm going to put on Pinterest that are going to drive traffic to Pinterest, obviously. Now this doesn't have to just be Pinterest. It can be Google, it could be whatever you're working on. But anyway, so I was actually putting on an outfit the other day and I didn't like the colors and I ran it through ChatGPT and I said, what colors am I? And ChatGPT said, I'm a true autumn. Now, how well ChatGPT actually does color analysis is up for debate, but it inspired me that this would be a great topic for Pinterest is color analysis. And I don't know why I haven't thought of this before. So let me show you exactly what I did. So the first thing I did is I went over to ChatGPT and I went to one of my um, higher reasoning ones. I think I did 4.1. I don't know why. <laughs> as far as models go, you can start anywhere, but I'm just showing you exactly what I did. And I said, um, create an outline for a comprehensive blog that teaches someone how to uh, style themselves as a true autumn. And then I said like makeup, clothes, hair colors, etc. And then I said something like exhaustive and comprehensive. And then I said, write this in my tone of voice. Now, the only reason I'm able to say my tone of voice, oh, actually I didn't need the tone of voice for the outline. The only reason I'm able to say my tone of voice is because I've been training ChatGPT by talking to it every day, every day it, it, about everything. So it really understands how I speak. So this is how I style myself to True Autumn. Here's the introduction, understanding a True Autumn, building your wardrobe, makeup. Now this is a really good way to start a blog because the outline helps ChatGPT not make things brief. It helps it know how to continue that blog. So here's what I did. I copied that. If I try to write a blog here now without reasoning, it's going to take forever. It's not going to be formatted right. So what I like to do is actually start over and I go down to like three or four. Oh, four oh seems to be my favorite. Now I'm going to say in my tone of voice, write this blog focused on Pinterest users use proper blog format, H1 for the title, H2 for subheadings, etc. Okay, now I'm going to paste the outline. Now, it doesn't always get it right out of the gate. Sometimes I have to go back and say, nah, this doesn't really sound like me or whatever. Let me read this to you that first paragraph. Figuring out I was a true autumn changed everything about how I dress. That's perfect. Suddenly shopping made sense. Okay, this sounds just like me. So this is perfect. Uh, second one, what you'll learn and achieve in this post, uh, understanding the true autumn, building up a true autumn wardrobe. You see where we're going with this? Okay, now he, the next step that I did is I went over to my website and I created a new blog post. Now let's see, how many words is this um, without even, okay, without doing anything else to it, it's 1300 words. That's perfect. That for, In my opinion, for what I'm trying to do, that's perfect. Okay. Next step. So that first part was inspiring alone was how I like came up with that topic, not using keyword research tools. It was true inspiration based on real life. This is what I'm looking at right now as a, as a woman who's interested in fashion. So it made sense. It's also age appropriate, uh, meaning even though I'm over 50 and the average Pinterest user is uh, Gen Z, I, this will still appeal to them because it's, I'm showing them how to be a true autumn. Okay. Now here's the next really cool inspiration thing. So the next thing I did is I first, when I first came on here, there was no pictures. So I added this picture. I think is so cool. Wrong colors, true autumn palette. And I'm going to show you how I made this with AI in just a second. And then I've got another one right here, true autumn. And it's all about the makeup and lipstick. So here's how I did this without any special prompting. Cause Hey, listen, I've got Pinterest guides. You're going to see them attached to this video. I've got a book of prompts. I've got individual prompts, but this one is not even a real prompt. Watch this. You come over here. This is, this is Harpa. I'll put a Chrome. I'll put a uh, link for you in the description. This is Harpa. So here's how it works. 
You click the Harpa Chrome extension, it opens, it reads the page, it's page aware. So it understands it's on the page. So you can now communicate with Harpa, which runs your favorite AI tool, in my case, it's ChatGPT, to do something with the blog. So over here, I'm gonna put, um, give me photo ideas. That's my cat in the background, by the way for this article that I could use on Pinterest. That's all I did. Just give me photo ideas. I mean, that's, that's, that there's no fancy prompting there at all. Okay. Now watch flat lay of warm toned wardrobe, staples, rust, knit, caramel coat, olive pants, gold jewelry, tortoise shell glasses. Second one, side by side outfit comparison. Now watch, just take that exact way it's described go over to ideagram i'll put the link below to this too i am using the paid version 3.0 i think it is 3.0 right here so watch this i'm going to paste it in here just click generate no fancy prompting you don't need to have any special skills here that this is this is how wonderful ai has become now if you ask me this is the type of ai um, image that would be valuable to a Pinterest user and they wouldn't care that it's AI. It's not like a recipe that there's a fake output or a craft that somebody may or may not have made or a outfit that they can't actually buy. This is like inspiration. It's okay. That makes sense to me, right? So let's look at our autumn essentials photo. It gave us three flat lay photos. That one's messed up because the necklace is broken. Sometimes I don't look that close, depending on how fast I'm moving, but if I catch it, I will. That one's okay. That one's, that one's not bad. Okay, I love this one, because it actually says the word autumn essentials. The only thing I don't love about it is it's really not that cute of an outfit. So here's what, I, no offense, but <laughs> to anybody who would wear that outfit, here's what I would do. I might open Harpa on the actual page itself, and I'm gonna say, um, love this autumn uh, style, but don't like the outfit. Give me um, a more modern spring idea. So you see what I did here is I had a Harpa open on the other page, but now I'm also opening Harpa on this page. This is, this is the gold is that it can interact with every page. So now I'm gonna change that prompt and put it up here and see what I get. Now you might ask me, why are you not just using ChatGPT for your images? I don't like them, not yet. Um, it takes too much time. I'm not getting the, the real looking authentic style that I'm looking for. So right now I'm still using this. Oh, so much better. I don't know if that's a true autumn though. That's my only thing is I'd have to go look because I almost feel like it's not. I'm gonna say something. Is that a uh, true autumn colors? I might, I might even have to open a palette sometimes when I'm looking at these. Yes. Okay. So do you want me to change it making 100% autumns? I'm going to say yes. Cause I don't personally feel like that. Those were true autumns. So let me go back again and generate. You're never going to have to be a prompting genius if you have Harpa <laughs> and just let it read the page and tell you what to do. Pretty genius. We could even say, put, uh, there we go. Look at that. Except I don't love the sweater. Okay. I'm going to, okay. That's cute. That's cute. I'm going to go with this one. Shoes look good. Pants look good. Purse looks good. I, I forget because I'm in Vegas, so we don't wear sweaters in the spring, but some, somebody else might. I like this. So what I do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to download it. I'm going to save it as a JPEG and I'm going to say true autumn fall uh, spring outfit. Now wait, because I'm going to show you how to monetize this too in just a second. So let me come back over here and I'm going to find where I want to put this. Let's just put it in building your wardrobe for right now. The cool thing is, is this is so expandable. Like if this works, this could be turned into 25 different blog posts. It could be different affiliate links. It could be a sponsored post. It could be PDFs, downloadable guides. You could have a 99 cent 
PDF that downloads the color swatches or, you know, whatever. It's, it's incredible where this could go as this actually does well. But let me just show you the basics like an Amazon affiliate link. Okay. All right. So pretend you've done all your photos here and you've, you've laid these out. So go down, let's just say now you're getting traffic on the blog. Generally speaking, I will not go and find all these Amazon links until I know that blog is getting traffic. It could even be one click. I don't care. I'm going to put the pins on Pinterest. I'm going to schedule them out with Tailwind, my Pinterest scheduler tool, one pin per week. And as soon as this blog starts getting traffic, then I will go in and find all the Amazon links. Okay. So let's see, identifying your skin tone. So here's one thing we could look for. I'll go over to Amazon and I'm going to say, um, autumn color. Oh, look at this autumn color palette, clothing, palette, dresses, autumn coloring book, autumn color palette. Let me take a look at what's popping up. Yes. Look at this. Uh, color analysis kit, autumn swatch fan. Look at this. Okay. Now I got to buy this because I believe these are my colors. I believe I'm an autumn. Um, oh, wow. The only difference is like there's warm autumn or true autumn. I haven't gotten into any of that, but let's just find one. Okay. And then all we have to do is, oh, frequently return. Why? That's not good. Let me find another one. So I'm going to come up here. I, I will usually avoid items that say frequently returned because, oh, there's a notebook with autumns. Ooh, I love this. We can do autumn eyeshadow palettes, autumn lipsticks. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up here. I'm going to grab this long link, not even my affiliate link, the long link. And I'll tell you why. Uh, when we go back, sorry, I've got all these tabs open. When we go back, I'm going to go right here. I'm going to put a little space under identifying your skin tones. I'm going to click the plus sign and I'm going to use lasso. I'll put a link below. Lasso will allow me to create a link and it will paste in an image of that item. This autumn swatch fan. You see this? It'll also do galleries, it'll do tables, it'll do lists, it'll do comparisons. But I, I like this because that becomes pinnable also after the fact. And it's an image, it's more visual, okay? But another way we could do this is over on the left-hand side, I'm gonna say, create a call to action that someone could go on Amazon and pick up a color swatch palette in autumn. So remember Harpa interacting with the page. It's so good. So here it goes. Ready to build your true autumn wardrobe with confidence. Okay. I don't like that first part. I'm going to say that's not my tone of voice. I'm always catching it. My tone of voice, my tone of voice, my tone of voice. Here we go. If you're serious about figuring out your colors, do yourself a favor and grab a true autumn swatch palette. I keep mine in my bag when I shop. Okay, which I'm gonna do now, I love this. Um, I might change that. Okay, so I'm gonna go right here. Okay, see this? Now, I'm gonna go back to Amazon and I'm gonna grab the short link this time. Right here, get link, grab the link, go back over and instead, I am gonna put it right here. True Autumn Palette. I could even create now because I'm so inspired to do this. I could go over to Amazon, my influencer account, and I could create an idea list for true autumns. And imagine I could spin this off. There's like three autumns and three springs and three summers and three whatever. This could be a gold mine of a little niche on Pinterest of a little spot. Okay. So now when they click here, it will go to Amazon and it will be my um, affiliate link. Now I do have a disclosure on my blog, on every page of my blog that says as an affiliate, I make money. So I'm covering all my bases here. Okay. So that's going to go there. Now you could go down here and say, okay, um, grab a warm scarf like camel or rust. All right. So I'm going to take those exact words. I'm going to go over to Amazon and I'm going to paste that in warm scarf like camel or rust. Okay. So the, you could just take the whole link to this whole page now if you wanted. Like, let me sort by bestsellers. I like to put that in the string. Eh, we, there's too many colors that are not true fall. 
Let me see if it says, um, I'm going to just do a rust sweater. Mm, I hate when they show the sponsors that are not appropriate. Let me try this one. Best sellers. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. See, oh, that is so cute. This would, this could make this vlog for sure. I like that. True. Now imagine this true autumn pants sets are two, you know, true autumn two piece sets. Like it's kind of like, when you're an influencer and you're dressing for curvy because you're curvy, you get all the curvy followers. If you did all this with autumn, this could spin off into all kinds of, you know, the best kimonos for true autumns, the best of this for true autumn. This is where my head goes. Like I can see the buildability of this, but I'm an autumn. So now I got to go buy this cardigan because I, it caught my eye and I absolutely love it. So let's just take that one. I'm going to do, um, this and I'm going to go back to my article and I'm going to put grab a warm scarf sweater or kimono right and then I'm going to put a little link here so here's the cool thing about this when somebody clicks this link and they land on Amazon and they and they don't buy that item but they buy something else because of how uh Amazon show suggested items you still get the commission as long as they buy, they fill their card up and they buy at that time. If they click your warm sweater scarf, but they don't put it in their cart and the next day comes in and they go back and do some sort of like browsing or whatever and they find a scarf, you don't get a commission. But if they buy it at that time, anything they put in their cart, you get a commission on. So I always say, get the click, get the click. Whether or not they buy that item or not, get the click. This is so key. Anyway, this is genius. By the time we're done, I could have 25 images on this blog post if I want when I'm done because every single one of these sections, here's an opportunity to put hair dye. Here's an opportunity to put uh, eyeshadow makeup. Here's an opportunity to put, you know, more uh, neutrals. So it's images for AdSense or it's affiliate links and images. You know, I don't like to go too crazy on affiliate links on one blog post, maybe you know, three, four, five on the page, but the rest I'm going to put more images and make it more valuable. And then after that, we can get really strategic with where are people scrolling? Let's put all of our affiliate links at the top, yada, yada. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Check out my guides below and I'd love to have you in Blueprint Coaching. We meet twice a month. We have a private community group. You get all of my trainings and courses and chat GPT prompts. You get all my PDFs for free. I'm Lori Ballin. Thanks for joining me today.